Hey guys, Brody here. Today we're going to be talking about sim linking your packages together. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on this topic. This is going to be a pretty short video, but the reason this is beneficial and the reason I think this will this will help you guys out is because when you're developing an application and you're developing a shared library at the same time, like something like an internal npm package or whatever you're doing, it's super beneficial to be able to link the two projects together and be able to test the npm module that you're building while you're developing and then publish the final version or v1 so um, let's go ahead and get started i'm going to kind of whiz through the project and i'm going to show you the, the main key points that you'll need to know for this so i have a react app here running on local host 8080 on my machine um, it's actually not started up right now so i'll go ahead and do that so here we go local host 8080 i can refresh this nothing's being rendered right now so let me show you this project all it is is a simple app.js file. There's nothing else in here, I promise, nothing in these components that you need to worry about. But it's just a single, simple app.js file. Um, I'm gonna be rendering this counter component that's gonna be my NPM module. Um, obviously a contrived example for, for demo purposes, but I'm gonna be importing that here in a second. And then my package JSON, uh, my dependencies list, is not referencing my module at all. So if I minimize this and show you what my module looks like, this is the counter app that I'm gonna be importing. Super simple counter, it just takes in a, a function and then the count and then shows that and um, sets up the handlers and everything like that, the event handlers. Um, so here my name, my module name is cool counter app. This is what I'm gonna be referencing on my local file system. So if I minimize this and go back to my, my React app, I can go ahead and reference that in my dependencies here. So all I need to do is just take that name of whatever my whatever my npm module is, and I can do like a, a relative file reference on my local machine in order to symlink that. So I can type file colon dot dot slash dot dot slash module, and this is where this file reference here will come from wherever this module lives on your file system. So in my case, this module directory. Um, this can be named anything you anything you want, um, but this module directory lives two two directories up. So, if I if I show you here quick, let me kill this server, and I do dot uh, change directory dot dot and change directory dot dot again in ls, I'll see module here on my file system. So let me just uh, cd back to where I was. So React Video Coursework slash symlink, and then start this up again. Actually, no, I'm gonna do an npm install here. So, so now that this is actually referencing, I'll save that. This is referencing cool counter app. I can go ahead and npm install. And what npm is gonna do is it's gonna recognize this relative file path and it's gonna say, I'm gonna skip trying to install this from the registry, the npm registry. I'm going to just reference it from my local file system and automatically set up that linking. So as you can see this passed, if you wanna check that this actually worked, you can go into your node modules and then you can go down to wherever your package is. Um, I named it cool counter app, I think. Let me find it. Here we go. So I'm using VS code, I'm sure it depends, but right here you can see like a little arrow. This means that it's referencing my local file system. And if you're using a different IDE and you don't see the arrow, you can actually open it up in Finder and you can see the same little arrow at the bottom left there. I don't know if I can make that bigger. I can't, but if you zoom in, pause it and zoom in, you'll see like a, a little arrow at the bottom left of my module. So now you can see that that's installed to my node modules. Um, I'm gonna quickly minimize that and go back to my module and show you one more important detail about developing NPM modules. Actually two more important details. You need to have um, you're, you, like you need to tell, you need to tell your package JSON or your module where this is going to be coming from. In my case, it's going to be coming from this index.js file, which is just referencing the dist output. And my dist output is this. And the last thing you need to do, and this is a tricky little piece, super fine detail, and it'll it'll bite you if you don't add this. But whenever you specify your output in Webpack, you need to supply library target library target UMD. And this pretty much tells um, Webpack that you're going to be using, this is going to be a, a module, an NPM module. Um, you can do more research on that. I'll have a link below. But once these things are set up 
and you have your Webpack outputting to your disk folder and you're referencing that in your index.js file and then you have it symlinked like I just showed you, you should be able to go back to your project, in my case, my React app, go to your app file and then import that um, wherever you want. So import uh, counter from cool counter app. And then I can uncomment this, save that, npm start. Give it a second here. If I refresh, so here's my counter app being rendered now. And then it obviously works. And one more, th one more helpful tip, whenever you're done building this, you need to remember that your package lock file is going to reference the, the symlink version. Um, so whenever you're ready to actually reference like V1, so if I want to reference 1.0 whenever I'm done building this, you need to make sure you wipe your package lock because if I do cool counter app, you see here the version is still referencing that symlink. So you need to make sure that you wipe this and then reinstall before you um, push your code up. Um, so hopefully this was beneficial to you. I can actually show you real quick what it looks like to make a change in the module. So say right now, um, I have like a little bit of margin between these two buttons. Say I want to increase that to, uh, actually I'll just change the background color of one of these buttons to blue. So I can go in here and run a build, just run your build process. And since this is symlinked, it's going to recompile my React app. And then here we go. You can see that recompiled and then now my button is blue. So that's what it looks like to develop um, a package while you're developing your application. Hopefully this was beneficial to you guys. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to leave some comments. I'll have the code for this um, in the link below in my GitHub. And then I'll have the link to the uh, library target um, definition in Webpack docs as well. Thanks for tuning in, appreciate it.